put it on, had gloves ready to go. So I got out. You know, some people were like, oh, are you serious? And the buyers were ready too. They had their mask on. As a matter of fact, the buyer's son had a full-blown 95 and 95. And his father had one of those hunters, um, one of those hunters neck wraps, right? And the son said, dad, come on, are you serious? <laughs> Go get the other mask, you have it, wear it. Yeah, step up the game. Speaking of stepping up the game, what, what did, we didn't know we were gonna get Mr. Granieri too. What the heck? Really? Oh my goodness, look at this. Hey guys, I'm wow. showing property. I'm, sh I'm actually showing property right now, getting prepped up, but I'm gonna jump on and show some love. Where's He's the team JK mask? Where's the team JK mask? I know I ran right out the door with it without it. Wow. That's, my, that's, that's, become, <laughs> that's, that. my, that's, that's my new cycling mask, though. That's my new cycling mask. I got to keep it. Seeing that, you know what? That's just a spoiler to try to get another one for me. They, they're not <laughs> <laughs> they're cheap. Oh, they, those those, those things, things are really sharp, but they're as fragile as you, though. They're as fragile as you. Uh, oh, wow. Hey, I'm not I, wasn't so wait, fragile. I wasn't so fragile on a 30 mile bike ride the other day. <laughs> Wait, while we have Jay, let's, let's, uh, we have to talk about a couple of things. We have, we have to thank everybody, first of all, thank all our clients and, uh, all the Team JK people. If we, if we didn't have clients, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to bring you this and we wouldn't be able to do our job. So big, big shout out to all our clients and entrust their real estate needs, um, to us at Team JK, all our Team JK team members, Compass, and of course, everybody that's watching right now, we really appreciate you. Please share the video because we love you. Thank you. Um, so let's talk big news first. We have last week we talked about who had the biggest guns, and by guns we mean biceps. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who do you Jay think won? Uh -huh. we, th we said it was between Jay and Jonathan. Who do you think won? It was the uh -huh. winner. It was the winner. I thought I saw okay. a comment. Somebody <laughs> said that Jonathan would have it. <laughs> no, actually, actually, Jonathan won the best beards. Jay won best oh, biceps. Just had to throw that out there. Oh. Had to throw it out there. Is, it, is, it, is his wife on this? Is his wife on the Zoom chat? Is that why? Is his wife on the you Zoom chat? You got to share in the accolades, Jay. You got to share in the accolades. I'll tell you what I am embarrassed about more than losing to your best beard is I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore at the Zoom meeting last week. So <laughs> <laughs> now everybody's going to check out. Now, here's what's funny. That'll take everybody back to a repeat on our third, on our third edition. <laughs> That's right. Go back and look at episode three if you want to see it. You can also see Jay fighting a uh, mosquito, I think, right? Was it a mosquito? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, tell you that. That's the one thing he's got a lot of. South Florida's got a lot of. Uh, yeah, we got, we got true. bugs the size of birds, I think. I, but that's a whole other episode. Um, so quick <laughs> check of Broward County real estate. In the last seven days, 709 properties listed, 229 pending. 384 closed sales last seven days. Pretty amazing. Broward County, we're doing business. Um, anybody want to take a guess at what the uh, what the highest closed sale was in the last seven days? Anybody? In all of Broward? Yeah, all of Broward. 18. No look no look at a matrix. Okay. I think it was like seven point uh, <laughs> Jonathan's close. Seven point five million. Lowest. Anybody have an idea what the lowest was? 6.9 million? No. no. <laughs> Way lower. Way lower. 28,000 dollars. Lowest price. Lowest close sale. Oh, lowest. Yeah. Right. 32,000. Yeah, so 7.5 7 million for the highest, 28,000 for the lowest. Um, anyway, if you're curious about what uh, property is selling for where you live, you can always call anybody here on Team JK. We're happy to help you. And if we don't, if we're not in the city that you live in, we will get you connected with somebody. So don't, don't forget that. Um, this last, uh, this week, it's National Prepare National Hurricane Preparedness Week. Um, that's a whole other issue too. We won't go any further with that unless somebody has something to offer. I got enough toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the truth is, Floridians, we have some experience in, in kind of quarantining at home. A little bit different with hurricanes, but. I wonder if we could use these masks. Can we use these over? <laughs> Any medical professionals? I'm staying on that one. Yeah. <laughs> no libel there. Um, South Florida is still under sheltered home, um, unlike some other parts of the state. So that's uh, something that's going on. And in making lemonade out of lemon news, Think about this, guys. We had Star Wars Day, Taco Tuesday, 
and Cinco de Mayo all in one week before Wednesday. Whoa. We got it done this week. I mean, 2020 yeah. wasn't has not been all bad. I think that's pretty right, important. Right, right. Yeah, it was Empire Strikes Back. That was our <laughs> that was our second. Tracy and I watched Empire Strikes Back on two, on Monday, and then um, last night was a was a rough margarita night. <laughs> I made tacos. Over. But you know what? I did. I went to old school with the grill. I had. I had the tortillas. I was putting them on the grill, eating them up with, I mean, we had a whole taco bar set up. I mean, you should have seen Phoebe, who was just like, wow, we, we, we never even get them to go out. Wow. But great. she did. So how many, how many margaritas? I mean, I had, I had a few, I'm a big, I went from margaritas to sangria and that's where the pain starts. Uh Oh, anybody else celebrate? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not touching that one either. You're just saying, you're throwing them Okay. I didn't do much drinking. I had to work this morning and I have, I have done that before. I drank the night before and had to work the next day. It was not pretty. So I laid low. Oh, ouch. There's the guilt trip. I'm guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> I, I didn't drink last night either. I didn't either. All right. So we have today, we have Amy Isherwood and Erica Liba um, on the hot seat, in the hot seat, uh, however you want to say that. You know, I was, I, let me go back for a minute. I, I decided to kind of give everybody a music themed nickname that is going to be on the show today. So like it, it does, it's not necessarily just a song title, but it, it's some, something the music thing. So when I think of Jonathan, I think Journey. I don't know why that's what I think. Journey, Dude, Perry. Okay. Open and arms. Amy, for whatever reasons, you, I, I was going to introduce you as Amy Blonde Ambition Isherwood. Oh. Let let it go. Erica, girls just want to have fun. Liba. <laughs> and Brittany, simply the best cartwright. I mean, I, I, I don't know. What do you simply the best cartwright? What do you guys think? I like it. <laughs> I like it. Very good. All oh, right. Man. So in keeping in line with thanking all, all of our clients, we have uh, a, few, a couple of properties that we're gonna go through um, throughout the show, throughout this episode, and um, we're gonna highlight them. The first one we're gonna talk about is actually vacant land. Jonathan's gonna tell us about uh, this property. It's 3070 Northeast 40th Court. I think you should be able to see it. We're also gonna be seeing 3306 South, Southeast 11th Court and 360 Southeast 12th Avenue. Jonathan, take it away and tell us about this uh, vacant land at 3070 Northeast 40th Court, please. Well, right here, and, and you'll see right here in Coral Ridges, you get like an aerial where how close it is to the beach, especially for those up in Northeast that are seeing our TV show. Um, you'll notice that right here in the outline, the area, the little white box there, or the little white kind of quasi triangle, you'll notice that's about 90 feet worth of uh, seawall there. Uh, the builder owner is willing to build a suit. All right, so he will take this lot here at 1.59 and take it to a whole nother luxury mansion. Um, so, you know, basically anything spec that you want to put together, he will take you there um, off the purchase of the lot. You can see it's like one house off the intercoastal. So you still have intercoastal views. So not only it's canal, here's some renderings, by the way, of what he has built in the past and what he's saying he would put at this lot. So keep that in mind. Um, I would say it's right there at the Coral Ridge Country Club and, um, and and being able to get right there on the water are my key points for the property. Awesome. Thanks, Jonathan. All right. So before we get into introducing the, the team, Amy and Erica, thought we could play a little game, blow off some steam, right? So we're going to play a quick game of live it, list it, or lease it. Here's the rules. Very simple. I'm going to give you three properties. You have to choose one to live in, one to sell, list it, right? Or one that you would own, but you're going to lease it out. And you can tell us about why you chose what you chose, but you guys ready for that? Real simple. All right. And I want you to, if you're watching, play, play along, put it in the comments, let us know which one you would do. So first one, government buildings, right? That's the category. So live in it, list it, or lease it. Here's your three choices. The White House, Buckingham Palace, or the Kremlin? Hmm, well, I mean, I wouldn't mind living in the White House, you know, but probably not right now during the pandemic. Okay. You know, 
I would definitely lease the Buckingham out because we probably get a lot of rent for that. But they're they're having troubles over there, so you know rent may keep down. <laughs> you guys, let's hear it. Oh, so White House, Buckingham Palace, and the Kremlin. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, the Kremlin, um, we're going to sell that one. <laughs> Live it, lease it, list it. Yep. Yeah, Brittany, I would the same order. Yeah. Yeah, I would. What, what was it? I would live in the White House. Okay. Live, lease, lift. Okay. If so I live you, in the White House, do I have to be the president? <laughs> no. Oh, you don't. there's. <laughs> you don't, you like there's there's a wrinkle. What's that? I can just rent it. You can you can do whatever you want. That's so Amy for president. That's <laughs> we'll talk about that in episode five. All right, here's the next one. Ready? Facebook campus, Google campus, or the Apple campus? Uh, mm. Live in it, list it, or lease it. I would live in Google. Yeah. Yeah, Google has. I would, I would live in Apple. I would Me live too. Apple. Me too. Yeah, I would I live in Apple. Apple. I would rent out Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I would, yeah. That's I, what I would do. I would, leave, I would lease Apple. They're a great tenant. I would live in Google. I love Google. Okay. All right. So the next one's higher education building. Ready? Princeton, Yale, and Harvard. All right. So I would probably take on and live in Princeton, lease. Harvard, right, and sell the other one. I would sell Harvard. <laughs> I would sell Harvard. Amy, yeah, please show. <laughs> Amy, you're laughing. What's up? What, what would you do? I don't really have an. I mean, I don't have an, too much of an opinion. I'll live in Harvard. <laughs> I'll sell Princeton. And I'll leave that. Yeah. I All was right. I was hoping Amy would have lived with being over there. <laughs> no. Okay, so no, no, no. Moving on. Commercial, commercial. <laughs> Here we go. All right, last one. Tallahassee, Cleveland, or Bismarck? Oh, I'm living, know which one we're going. living in Cleveland, obviously. <laughs> Wait, over Tallahassee? What were they, Tallahassee, Cleveland, and what? Tallahassee, Florida, Cleveland, Ohio, and Bismarck, North Dakota. Oof. Well, I would I would lease Bismarck. I wouldn't mind coming back over there. I would sell Tallahassee, right? Lease and sell. Yeah, so you live in Cleveland? Live in Cleveland with Brittany. Cleveland. Oh. Yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland I got to sell too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Yeah. Hey, you're breaking the rules. You're breaking the rules. All right. Hey, real we quick. We got Tony. Yeah, we got a, a, a visitor, Tony Vallier from ACI Inspections. Tony, how you hey, doing? Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Uh, are you on the roof, Tony? No, I'm not on the roof. I I came down. <laughs> You're just actually doing you. an inspection just, right now, though, right? Just for you. Yeah, I'm right right in the middle of one. So we are uh, just doing this right out by the truck. Tony, where's your where's your proctology gloves? Is my what? <laughs> All right, Tony. Tony, <laughs> what does ACI stand for? <laughs> So, so yeah, so the company is Michael Garnier ACI. ACI stands for ASHI Certified Inspector. Uh, so, right. uh, yeah, so if, if you just go to ASHI, that's, that's all of our inspectors are, are ASHI inspectors. It's the highest designation that an inspector can achieve in the nation. Uh, it's not an easy thing to attain uh, and, or to maintain. It's something that you have to qualify for every year. So uh, we love it because it holds us accountable. Um, there are certain standards that ASHI has, has set that's beyond what a standard home inspection is. And so we just like that because it just always challenges us and they require continued education. And um, so we just, we, we absolutely love it being a part of, of you know, um, well, just being a part of ASHI. Well, so first of all, we really appreciate you like stopping in the middle of, of, a, of an inspection and dropping so, in. That's that's super awesome. Thank you. We, we, Can, we piped uh, live right in. Piped up live right in. See, isn't yeah. that cool technology? Can you clarify though for some of us how to spell Ashy, please? Ashy, it's just A S H I. 
right. some of us need that clarification because yeah. it just yeah. you know it and, holds and, different and meaning. A, I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, no, not a problem. And that's just the American <laughs> Society of Home Inspections. Okay. Have, yeah. have you guys noticed any difference in uh, business or uh, how you've had to do things with uh, what's going on? We, we have, um, we have that, you know, we had about a two, two and a half week uh, downfall to where, you know, Mike and I were talking and, and we just didn't know if it was going to be something that continued. Uh, we didn't know if it was going to be something that we were going to have to kind of look for other avenues of employment uh, because it just totally died. So because of the unknown, you know, those were just thoughts that were kind of rolling through our minds, on how to prepare for that. Um, but you know, they, they kind of trickled in, they kept coming in, they kept coming in because of the unknown. We had many agents, uh, who just wanted to try to get inspections done as soon as possible because they didn't know if they were going to be able to do it again or when that was going to be. So that, that kind of, you know, gave us a little boost. Um, but definitely there, there has been a, a, a large degree of, of time that's been added to the inspections much uh, related to just the sanitizing and, and the COVID-19 protocols that the government has asked us to abide by. Um, so that's just added time and added some weight to, um, to the inspection itself. So there's, there's a, you guys have some um, enhanced services now, thanks to, because of this, right? I mean, you, you, you're working in a different way, but it's good, to, it's good to hear that you're working. We're really happy to hear that. Um, we don't want to keep you too much from your inspection. How would we get in touch with you? How does someone get in touch with Michael Garnier ACI inspections? Yeah, so uh, you could just go to our website, uh, gohomeinspection.com. You could call me personally. My phone number is 916-847-4760. Um, we have uh, now, during this process, we have created a more social media presence. Um, that's been quite a quite a, um, a project that uh, that Mike's been working on. And so uh, we have our Facebook page that that's all on on there. And there's so you can you can access um, that and, and get in touch with us that way. You know, so um, so like I said, there's it's been it's been a good time. We did see how things slowed down. But now um, I tell you, the last couple of weeks has just been slammed. Um, we've enhanced our uh, a couple of our services, uh, our indoor air quality has, uh, we've improved that. We've um, added different uh, features onto that um, so that we can attain or get the results of the most indoor air contaminants possible. Um, so we, 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 we've done that. We've gone out and gotten certified and purchased our own sewer camera equipment. So now rather than outsourcing that, it's ourselves that we are. Um, doing the sewer cameras I, I'm doing three of them today so uh, so that's that's going to prove to be productive so things are moving forward with with good teams and good agents like yourselves I tell you you, you guys have been fantastic we love you guys so much and I th just we really really greatly appreciate the support that you give to us and how busy and much of a rock star as you guys are I tell you it's just it's a great great uh, thing to know that you know we we have people like you to to count on. That's Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, thank you. Good seeing you. You too. You too. Have good, a good one. Good live, good live pipe in right there. That was that was we can actually start hitting those on the field there, you know, like straight up newscasting from the properties. There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'll be I'll be in all of them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, right. Tony. Have a really good one. Really appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye. See you, Tony. Amy, rumor has it you want to tell us about 3306 Southeast 11th Court, C2, well, yes? The rumors are true. Yes, so um, right. this is one of the most unique uh, properties in Broward County. Um, this is 10 and a half acres of land uh, right, from, right on the ocean back. It's a co-op community called Pompano Surf Club. Um, you've got 315 feet of ocean front there. Um, private pool, private marina. It's all owned by the shareholders of the co-op. So if you live there, you, you own the, the, the land, the ocean front, the pool. Um, this is uh, the unit that's available is a two bedroom, two bath unit. The furniture is negotiable. 
Um, it's great for, you know, a winter home or a weekend. You can rent it out uh, one time per year uh, for a seasonal rental. So if you live there in the winter, you can rent it out in the summer. Um, and uh, yeah, you're literally steps from the beach. So right outside your front door is a little putting green for fun and you're about 10 feet away from the deeded beach access. Go through your own private gate, your own private beach. It is open now. So it's if you live here, uh, you could go to the beach right now. So Amy, a couple of things. If somebody wants to see this place, they what are we welcome need to, do? to see it. Um, other than a virtual tour, you can also see it in person. It is vacant um, with masks and gloves. You can contact me. Um, Amy Isherwood I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, my uh, phone number is 262-441-7657. My email is amy.isherwood at compass.com. All right. Where's the blonde ambition part, though? Very you good. forgot the blonde ambition part. Oh, that was, that was so <laughs> You did great. Yeah. All right, real quick, a couple things, Amy. So uh, let, let's I want to just talk about you personally so we can introduce you to the team because you're in the hot seat today. Okay. I want to, my first question is why do you love, or, you know, what do you love about practicing real estate? But before we get to you answering that question, you have a little bit of an interesting background, right? Oh, what? <laughs> um, well, yeah, well, before I lived here in Fort Lauderdale and started selling real estate, I worked for Carnival Cruise Lines. Uh, for 10 years as a dancer and dance captain. Um, I lived shipboard um, and performed in their production shows and helped manage the cast in the shows. Um, so I went from ship to ship as a nomad for about 10 years. And um, 2014, I walked off the gangway and just stayed in Florida. They couldn't get rid of me, so I'm still here. <laughs> no return well, trip. Glad to have you. <laughs> And by the way, I think you and Jonathan have to do a, a karaoke off, just to, oh. just to sing off. But that's that's we'll do that we'll do that sometime. So tell us why you love practicing real estate. Well, you know my favorite part of real estate is you know when I get an offer accepted, you know putting deals together. So it makes everyone happy, makes me excited. Um, I love uh, I do love going to see new houses all the time. You never know what you're gonna get when you open that door. So I do find that exciting as well. But um, yeah, the, the, that's my favorite part, putting those deals together. Okay. Um, if you're looking at that, looking at a house for yourself, right? What mm -hmm. features do, you, what are, what's most important to you? What do you like? Uh, like my dream house, I would be looking for, you know, a big kitchen, kind of like in your background there, Derek, like a big state of the art kitchen where I could do a lot of cooking. Um, on the water, that's why, you know, we're here in Florida to be close to the water. Um, you know, a location that's close to the restaurants I love. Um, I'm out east, I like it out east for now. So I would wanna stay out east. Um, those are my, those would be what I would look for in a house. Okay, all right. Um, what kinds of things keep you motivated in challenging times like this? Well, um, it's been hard not to be motivated. My what's kept me motivated are my customers who need to move right now. You know, you know, there's a lot of things going on, but these people's leases are up and they need to move. Or you know, they've got Amy. I need to move by June, by the end of June. Amy, I need to sell my house. I have to move to North Carolina. I have to move to New York. You know, real estate doesn't stop for a virus. So. Ah, I love that. That's a really good sound bite. Amy, you, you that, forgot Amy? to mention um, your little comedy history. Oh. Yeah. What was that? Uh, there was a, I also have dabbled in stand-up comedy in the past. <laughs> um, I'm also, you can also find me doing some stand-up on YouTube. So Amy Sherwood. We'll have to post that link. <laughs> So wait, Amy for president, and I think we need to do a vote for Amy to do a stand-up for us, stand-up show, yeah? yeah? Totally. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Okay. All right. Fair. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Um, I'm, I, I got a little note here. Brittany. Yes. 
I'm not gonna do it to you. I'm not allowed to ask Brittany any uh, questions right now. Don't, 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 don't finish it. <laughs> Brittany, simply the best. First of all, we have to go back and just say thank you again because you, what what you guys don't realize is Brittany's running everything in the background for us so that we can concentrate on bringing you guys content and having a conversation that's that's worth listening to. So Brittany, thank you for everything. Thank Brittany, you. Well, the only question I have for you is why would you live in Cleveland over Tallahassee and Bismarck? We want to know. Just give, come on, just give us a little background. A little background. It's cool. I mean, I was born and raised, you know, outside of Cleveland, right between Cleveland and Akron. I mean, now that I'm older, I appreciate it a lot more. There's a lot more things to do. It's just peaceful. It's, I don't know. It's my home. I like Cleveland too. <laughs> Yeah, you too. You're well, from Cleveland, you. and you wouldn't you wouldn't go back. Just south. I'm I'm from Northeast Ohio, but I am a Buckeye. I I okay. I admitted that on. We need Jay I admitted on that here. on the show. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. I'm, based on this weather, I wouldn't be anywhere else. Here. Amen to that. Amen to that. Yeah. I think that wraps everything up, right? No. Paradise. <laughs> That's the truth. All right. So before we get to Jonathan, Amy or. Um, Erica, you're in the hot seat too, but you, let's let's hear about a property first, right? Sure. So we're gonna we're gonna ease into the hot seat questions, and we're gonna hear about 360 Southeast 12th Avenue. Did I, I have that right? Yeah. Um, uh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Erica. Take it away. Okay. Well, thank you for the opportunity to go over this property that's located on 360 Southeast 12th Avenue in Pompano Beach in Snug Harbor, just off of Atlantic and US-1 in Pompano Beach. As you can see here shortly, there's gonna be plenty of room for parking in the front of the property. And as we walk into this four bedroom, three bath home, you'll see a living room immediately here to your left. Uh, the furniture that you see throughout this house are available uh, with the property. You can also purchase your property without the furniture. Here is the dining room area, plenty of natural light. And as we walk across here, there's a little other seating area overlooking the open kitchen. The kitchen, as you can see, I have stainless steel appliances and a raised tray ceiling. Plenty of natural light here. And as we walk into the side of the house, you're going to see floor, uh, split floor plan. You're gonna have one side with one master bedroom this was before a, the garage DC on the outside has been converted into a master bedroom with a closet and a bathroom. Then on the other side, there's two bedrooms. Uh, actually, there's two, two, yeah, two regular bed bedrooms uh, with one bathroom and another master bedroom. So this house has two master bedrooms on site. And again, if you prefer the property without the furniture, that would, can be arranged. Uh, this home is 2,200 square feet under air. And this is the favorite part of my house. You have a new installed pool. You have 70 feet of waterfront and approximately 15 minute boat ride to the intercoastal. And there is a 15 or 16,000 pound boat lift on the property. And it's currently being used as a rental investment property. And the property can be yours for only six hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. How do, you, how do you see it, Erica? I'm sorry. How do Let's you see it? it? Hey, call me, text me, send me smoke signal. Uh, you can reach me. <laughs> <at> 561 289 And that's great. Thank that you. Product, I've already been sold. It, it was under contract and the buyer got a default on their or denial on their mortgage and it came back on the market. And then we had another contract that came in. They got a denial as well. So we are wrapping through the next buyer and we have a queue because it's currently rented temporarily and it'll be back ready to show on the 11th of May. Um, so if, yeah, if you're posing some serious interest, reach out to Eric, and she'll get you in on May 11th, May 12th. You want to get in there. Those will be the two hot dates, and most likely the property will be back under contract again, and we'll head to close. All right. Thanks, John. It's, that's 360 Southeast 12th Avenue in Pompano Beach, uh, 3306 Southeast 11th Court. That's also in, in Pompano, right, Amy? Yeah. 
Okay. Correct. Yeah. And 3070 Northeast 40th Court, Jonathan, that's yep. some vacant land. Oh, we're country Club, right there. You get there, you're you're at the club and you're building your luxury home, 1.59. All right, thanks. So that's all the properties we have to feature, but we still have to put Eric on the hot seat and we have to find out a little bit about what makes Eric a Libra work. What, what, what gives you the drive that you have? Because you are seriously one of the hardest working people that any of us know. We, I mean, we've all had the pleasure of working with you and you yeah. literally are one of the hardest working people we know. You're strong. What gives you your drive? You know, uh, honestly, uh, it all depends. For me, the drive is just to make people happy in general. I have been a first time home buyer. I've been a second time home buyer and third time home buyer. And it's never really been a really good experience working with another realtor for me. They've either not been accessible or they have not had time for me or they just want to push me into property just to make a quick sale. And that's not what this is about for me. So for me, I thrive on being a little bit different from the experience that I've had as a buyer. I, it's just nice when you meet people and you're part of what they wanted to do when, you know, they want to expand and moving up in life and doing better things. And it, it, it's just really nice to be a part of people's journey from the, from the start and go and just try to help them find something that they're happy with. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No, great. It's, it's a good point on being, you know, the good part about Erica's experience, the fact that she was in a buyer position, she's bought multiple properties. And I think that's helped her really evolve and understanding what buyer needs are. You know, it's great to be in that position to be able to help in that position. And, um, and that's why I see one of the, the biggest strengths in her and her toolkit uh, really call coming. I just, I just declined that call. Sorry about that, Erica. But yeah, no, that's huge. You know, and I look at that too with my history, you know, being an investor and, and, and purchasing homes over the years. Um, I always brought those feelings back to how I'm serving, you know, my database as well. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Thanks for that, Jonathan. Well, Erica, we, we just want you to know, we all appreciate you. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm one of your biggest cheerleaders. I, you're just an amazing person to work with. So. <laughs> all right so erica girls just want to have fun leva you know how to get in touch with her all right jk the guy that brings the j and the k to the wow team. wow so what here we are week. we are tailing off the pandemic it looks like you know obviously the governor hasn't opened up you know we've got thirty-eight thousand cases and the state 1500 unfortunate losses they're They've got a whole setup for COVID testing over at the Hard Rock Stadium. I have a, one of my sellers came in. He's probably calling me and see if I'm live. Sorry, I got a looking picture. Um, so anyway, so yeah, the Hard Rock Stadium's already gone through twenty thousand uh, testings, um, and they're expecting to have another two hundred. Here's what I found that was interesting is out of the 100,000 residents, Palm Beach had 226 cases, Broward had 281 cases, and Miami had 479 cases, an average of 174 cases per 100,000 residents um, is what we're dealing with within the state. Um, you know, I can tell you this, keep having um, calls coming in, I apologize. But I tell you, I can tell you this, um, we are going to come out of this stronger than ever. The team, I know for a fact, collectively has really evolved within the technology. Uh, I've got to give some big shouts out to you know our first responders, as always. I wanted to mention to you a few of the restaurants that we've been paying um, homage and patronage to. Ray over at Times Square Pizza is probably the best pizza in the county, um, mm -hmm. so definitely want to give them props. Um, they That's always, at the corner of uh, Oakland Park and, and Federal, Oakland right? Park, not too yeah. far from my house, Ray at Times Square Pizza. That's like legit New York pizza. Um, Frank over at the Chimney House, of course, he's gotten involved in a lot of the different charitable organizations. One of our team members, Mark Vonswell, had supported him with the fire department and doing some dinner, so I always have to give Frank, he's my neighbor, um, over at the Chimney House. Um, 
Uh, you know, one of my, our, our number one restaurants, probably Cafe Seville, we don't go there that much because it's a, uh, it's a special restaurant for us. So we, we celebrate there, but Joey over at Cafe Seville, uh, Cindy Sesame's Cookies, couldn't help but plug her. She plugs me all the time. So she's got like a special going on where you buy one cookie and get her, I mean, get the cookies for free. <laughs> um a lad who does our videos and pictures for our properties definitely want to give him a shout out because i know he works hard always makes himself available we just did a matter port over at uh, over at our property in uh, lighthouse point and you know when you're doing like a matter port which is like this whole virtualism um for square footage and all that it take it's like a two hour process and literally, while I was there waiting for it to be completed, I was recognizing in Lighthouse Point how gorgeous that area is around the listing that I have. And with, I got, sorry, I got another call. And how it's like a literal <laughs> bird sanctuary. Um, so, yeah, that's huge. Um, Sunday's Mother's Day. Just want to give you guys just a quick reminder. So, um, it looks like we'll probably be low key here at the house, probably bring some in. Here in my neighborhood, we've seen two raccoons, a gray fox, right? Birds, I've got hawks over here. And, um, and if I was to come back as a different business after seeing COVID, I would say the bike mechanics are probably killing it the most. <laughs> Biking is ridiculous. You can't get your bike service. They're all slammed. And if they're not slammed, they don't want to take your bike because of COVID. Um, I've got to give a shout out to Don Shula, rest in peace. He was, um, I put out a, a, a quick article or a quick note about how he had impacted my real estate career and doing what I love. And that was a, uh, that was huge for me. Um, so yeah, outside of that, I want to do a little happy birthdays to some individuals that had happy birthdays this week to Rainier Coulter. Giancarlo Ponte, Kevin Purcelli, Jimmy Brannon, uh, Chris Wardell, um, Elizabeth Hughes, Audrey Sadler, Zeb Fry, Amanda List out of Australia, some friends that had birthdays, wanted to give them a shout out. And that pretty much wraps it up for me, guys. We're, um, we're, we're tying the loose ends here as in COVID as we come in and, we're open, and the gates open back up. And then we just continue fighting. The team continues to collaborate. And we push forward to, to give the service that our, our buyers and sellers, landlords and tenants deserve. Derek, you're doing a great job. Brittany is killing it with collaborating with you. You two have done an excellent job creating the Thank you. and producing Team JKTV and showing that, you know, showing what we do um, on a more organic level um, digitally. You know, it's awesome. You guys are awesome. Yeah, good job, guys. And thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Great job, Erica and Amy. You guys are crushing it. I'm so proud of you guys for being just hard workers. And that's the point of being here on Team JKTV is to expose just how hard you guys work and how serious you are about our business. Thank you for sure. Thank you, JK. And with that, we got to get back to work. So we're going to we're going to call that a wrap. Um, don't wrap. forget to check us out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com at Jonathan Keith. You can check out our YouTube channel where you can see this video um, when it's not live and just uh, the syndicated version on YouTube. So that is teamjktv.com. And you can always uh, reach us on Instagram too at teamjkrealestate. Um, and then we've all got our own uh, uh, profiles as well. But thanks for everybody. That's a wrap. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Wednesday, Wear your mask. PM. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. I have to get mine today. I don't have one. I'll just pretend. <laughs> See you guys.